This video is brought to you by Vessi. Vessi makes stylish sneakers that are also super cool because they are 100% waterproof. Usually when people hear about waterproof shoes, they think about like heavy Gore-Tex boots. These are not anything like that. They're made from a special dual climate knit fabric called Dymatex that keeps you cool in the summer and warm and dry in the winter. Ava and I particularly like having them here in Arizona because monsoon season, we've learned, is a thing. And it's crazy because it will be just an absolutely gorgeous bright day and then all of a sudden it's pouring rain. So it's nice to not have to wear rain boots just in case that happens. You can just wear your normal sneakers. They're also super easy to clean because they're waterproof. Every time I get some, like, some dirt on the shoes, I just run it under the tap, just clean it off. You're good to go. You can put them right back on. They're also sustainably made. They have less material waste, less water waste, and no animal byproducts. Nobody deserves that awful wet sock feeling. Visit the link down in the description below, that's vessi.com slash pastagrammer, and use our code pastagrammer for $25 off each pair of shoes. A big thank you to Vessi for sponsoring today's video. Hi, I'm Harper. Ciao, Meva. Today we're continuing our little series, I would call it, on Christmassy desserts. The dish we're gonna make today is one that we got a lot of requests for, but I have no idea what it was. Uh, I just saw the name a bunch and told Ava, a lot of people are asking for Cucidati. Cucidati in Sicilian dialect or buccellati or buccellato in Italian. It has the dialect version and the Italian version. Easy. 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 Before we begin, a quick shout out to an amazing pasta grammarian who made this absolutely stunning torta di mele. If you haven't seen our torta di mele video, you can watch it up here. So Harper, to make the cucidati or buccellati, we need to make before uh, the dough, and then we need to make the filling. So it's kind of, kind of a stuffed dessert. It's a stuffed dessert. Before you start to, to tell us which ingredient you have in front of you, we need to soak dried figs and raisin in water. Oh, I forgot. You need to dry the fruit and then soak the fruit. See, Harper, always. So got some figs here and some raisins. So I just fill these up with water. They need to soak for uh, 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, the dried fruit is becoming undry again. So, and now what we have in front of? Uh, okay, this looks like flour, which then I'm a little bit confused because then we have, is that powdered sugar? It is powdered sugar. Okay, okay. Butter, butter, an egg. Salt and an orange. Not Did you know that in the movie The Godfather, every character who like touches or handles an orange dies? Ciao, Harper. <laughs> it was a pleasure. Just saying, I'm a little concerned. So, Harper, we start with the butter. Put the butter in there. Over. And then, Harper, you had the powdered sugar. Okay. Start to mix the butter with the powdered sugar. Okay. Mm. It's also pretty pretty nice, right? Well, it's an interesting combination of textures because you have that kind of chalky powder of the powdered sugar and then the soft, sticky butter. So you need to incorporate all the sugar with the butter. So it needs to become a sort of, uh, I don't know, custard, creamy. Cream? Si, but not melted. So, Arpeva, uh, we need the butter in the bowl, not all the butter <laughs> on your it's hands. I'm trying, it's sticky. Oh, that's shaping up. It's kind of okay. like, uh, almost like frosting. So, we are going to add the orange zest. Now, we are adding this. If you don't really like uh, the orange zest, uh, you can put maybe the lemon. Uh, you can put also some cinnamon. I really like orange. I can tell you're kind of drooling. Arper, uh, Arper. Now, Arper, we add one egg. Am I ever going to be able to wash my hands? Not now. One egg. I'm dropping butter everywhere. Arper, start to mix. Okay. It's not my fault if all our friends, they ask for this kind of dessert. Thanks, guys. We start to add the all-purpose flour, but Harper, I'm going to add the flour. You need to work very fast on the dough. So. Okay. Oh, that's better. We had just a pinch of salt. Okay. Okay, now you can transfer the dough here. And I just start kneading? 
Fifi Harper Fast so you Just out of curiosity why do you have to move so fast? Because otherwise the butter will completely melt. Oh. So, because you oh. see, if the butter um, become too soft, then we need to add more flour, but we don't want really to add more flour. But I notice you're doing it anyway. Because I know that... Uh, <laughs> that I'm not fast enough? <laughs> and, see, put all together. What we need to do is wrap this in plastic uh, paper and plastic... Uh, plastic, plastic wrap? Plastic wrap. Ugh, every time. Perfetto. Perfetto. All right, so that's our dough ball. Now what do we do with it? Okay, now we need to put it in the fridge. Okay. And uh, wash before your hands, before you touch the fridge with that hands. <laughs> Don't wash your hands, Harper. Wash your hands, Harper. Harper. Make up your mind. All right, in okay. the fridge. Okay, in the fridge. And now, Harper, after we made the dough, it's time to make the filling. I can't help but notice you brought out the old blender. Otherwise, you need to do everything by with your hands. So do you prefer with nope, your hands? No, that's cool. I'm good with that. All right, I'll start with the easy ones. I've got the figs and the raisins that I had soaking. Almonds, yeah. walnuts, uh, this is like candied fruit. Orange, uh, candied fruit, uh, and the other one is uh, cedro. Now, how do you call in English cedro? Cedro. I, I don't even know. Can we show them what it is? I had never seen anything like this before until Ava got it. It's some sort of large candied citrus, is green. Cedro, as I said, and it's one of the most common uh, candy fruit in Italy. We use for this, for panettone, as a decoration. I'll try to Google what it is and I'll put the link to where we get ours uh, down below. Uh, some kind of jam? Orange, marmalade, orange uh, jam. Uh, chocolate. This is the 70% of uh, cocoa, so it should be a dark chocolate. Here we have presumably cinnamon. Nutmeg. This, I'm almost positive because it's a Sicilian recipe, is Marsala wine. This is Marsala wine. And then what's tri tripping me up is you got a uh, pepper here. A sprinkle of pepper, uh, why not? So now our first step is break our nuts. We don't want a powder. We want them in pieces. So we are going to use the blender because it's easier, it's faster. I thought you were going to have me. I will make you do this if you don't follow my instructions. Okay. Don't start the blender like too much. Just a little bit. Like pulse, pulse it? See, like two or Say it again. Pulse it. You said pulse. I liked it. Pulse. Pulse it. Like That's that. okay. Now add the marmalade. marmalade. Add the candy fruit. Now is the moment in which you need to break, mm -hmm. break the chocolate. The now, <laughs> you can't do this in a blender. But I will show you, but then yeah. you will do all by yourself. You see? How easy it is. Oh, so you sort of shave it. But huh? very fast because otherwise all the chocolate will be in your hands. I will make you a favor. I will drain the figs. <laughs> oh, thank you. Easy. Thank okay. you. It was the task I was dreading most, draining the figs. Something tells me that maybe it's better if I help you. Uh, yeah, you know, if there's another knife lying around, you know, couples that shave chocolate together stay together. That's what they say. Can uh, I wash my hands because I kind of look like Augustus Glue? I think so, Alper, yes. Now, Alper, we need to work on our figs. So put the fig in the blender because we need a sort of fig paste. So I can really gun it. See? I like how you knew what gun it meant. So I transfer all the fig in the bowl. Are you draining my raisins? See, Harper, it's another favor that I'm making oh, for you. Oh, thank you. In the so, bowl? in the bowl. Now here we have uh, cinnamon. Not too much, but uh, it's like give the taste of cinnamon. You like okay. a teaspoon? See, this is nutmeg, so... Okay, a sprinkle of pepper. Okay. Another one. Huh? Another sprinkle of pepper. That's okay. Our marsala wine. Mm. And then with your hands, you need to mix. It already smells so good. How it is the consistency? Pretty, Pretty good. good. It's coming together. Can you smell? Yes, it smells incredible. It also smells super Christmassy. We need some plastic wrap. 
So wait. Can you do me? Yeah. You see, Harper. And what you need to do, Harper, is to give this a shape of a long snake. <laughs> it needs to be pretty long, something like oh, that. Oh, wow, okay. So you can also roll like this, for example, and work with the plastic that will make oh, everything okay. easier. Be sure that every part has the same size. Okay, okay you can close it. Perfect. Perfetto. Now we we'll let it rest in the fridge together with the dough. Uh, but here we have a small problem. The dough and the filling needs to rest for at least one day. Are you serious? But you made some already. Yes. <laughs> uh, it looks exactly like what I did. So now what you need to do is to roll the dough. Just to make you understand. When the dough is all rolled, mm -hmm. we will place this inside and then we will close it. Ugh, butter doughs. Pay attention because we don't want a uh, broken dough. Like that? Bravissimo, Keep you understand. Cracking. Bravo, you understand. Look, I'm American. We do pies pretty darn well, okay? I don't need some Italian telling me a thing or two about butter doughs. Oh. Mm. Bravo, Harper. What do you think? Perfect. The first thing, Harper, is that you need to unwrap the filling. You don't want that nice melted plastic? No, this time I can avoid this. Bloop. So, Harper, just cover it. Drape this side over. See? And now this is uh, an excess of so dough. I cut that. See, because we don't need the, the excess of dough. You need just to close it. Now, with the hands, you can just uh, take the excess of dough out. We are going to slice it. Oh, oh, I get it now. Buongiorno, Arthur. I get it now. Buongiorno. So, how thick should I cut these? Maybe like that, like an inch? See, keep all the filling inside. Okay, so now we need to transfer them on a baking sheet. But they are very cool, right? They are cool. They're neat. So, now we need to bake them. At 390 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius for about 15, 20 minutes. Or until they are gold. All right, I'm gonna pop them in. Okay, so I guess we'll be back in 15 to 20 minutes. Adobo! So this is what a cuchidati is, or what cuchidati are. And they smell so good that... <laughs> they smell amazing good. Give See, me one. It's time to enjoy them. They look awesome. Buon appetito! Is the taste of Christmas. <laughs> I was about to say, it tastes as Christmassy as it smells. I don't know how many times I said this, but Sicilians know how to make dessert. <laughs> Guys, I think we're gonna do one more Christmassy dessert. So if you have a suggestion, uh, leave a comment down below. We'd love to get your requests. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And follow us on social media, at Pasta Grammar. We'll see you next time. Ciao. Ciao.